Welcome back to your Lily White's podcast. It's been a bit of time. I understand that you guys have missed it. We started at the start of the season and it was all going well. And then we sort of stopped. But added to that though, the Lily White's will now have commentary on a match day. So if you can't make a match day, absolutely fine. You can still listen to your Lily White's live from commentary from myself, Michael Brownie. Let's get into this podcast. It's a month in review. So what we're going to try doing now from now on is... After the match, we're going to get the man of the matches interview always. The manager's interview on here as well. This one's going to be just from the last game only. But we're going to try and give you a month's worth of interviews every single time with fans just giving you an update once a month. That is what we're going to try and do here on this podcast. We'll make it a bi-monthly podcast. And this podcast, it has the man of the match from the weekend, which will be Bradley Sims. And it has the player of the month, Nathan Wood. This time we're... Joined by Neil, Mick and Wes, people that have been on the pod a fair few times. Remember, their opinions are their own. This is a fan podcast. All well and good. We're all having a laugh always. But as always, up the Lily Whites. And just like that, the Lily White podcast is returning a month after. Here in an FA Cup replay, we have had a month. So let's review this month. Mick, how are you, first of all? And how would you review the month that we've had? Bearing in mind the last time we spoke, we played... Holmesdale, we've played Kennington, we've had league games, we've had the Whitstable, we've had the FA Cup victory. Try and talk me through some of those games. Um, firstly, yeah, all good uh, and buzzing for the night. Um, overall, I think um, I think it's been a good month. Um, yeah, there's been a couple of results where you know we were up and they ended in draws, but count the defeats. None. And that's what that's the figure you're looking at. That's <laughs> the, that's the figure you're looking at. Um, I think Saturday, particularly against Bullridge, I think was a very good game. Um, we've stopped a penalty, which is obviously uh, an important thing. But um, we've taken away the advantage they had at being at home. We've got them a long way from home on a Tuesday night. Hopefully a good crowd tonight. Our pitch, uh, Johan back as well. So there's a lot of variables that could make tonight good. Let's talk about some of those games. The uh, last time we were at home, we played Kennington in a 2-2 draw. But we were con- we were so in control of that game. I remember it so well. And I, from my point of view, is when they had the injury and then they sort of had that injury and we sort of took a step back. But how do you view that as a fan? Was it quite a worrying night or are you just looking at it as a game that was we were just still still learning to get through the gears? I, I think it was it's reasonably early in the season that we still had a few late players that maybe hadn't completely gelled with the team because we, we've we had players come in at important positions and now that's sort of, you know, they've had chance to gel, they've had chance to work under Tommy. So, and then you look at the the, 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 the back to that, you had Whitstable, um, we had a, a tough uh, win at Fisher. Two days later, we've had any rest, we're down at Whitstable. I think most fans, being honest, were expecting a draw, possibly even slipping up. And we put on a demanding and uh, excellent performance. Let's talk about our whistle one as well, because what a day it was. You know, 800 people were packed into that ground. And to be honest, it wasn't just, you know, more more uh, whistle. It was probably more of a 50-50 thing from people from both towns. It's, it's a rivalry, but also as well, it's, it's a great to have a local game, especially on a bank holiday. How was that atmosphere for you as a fan? And also after, what was the celebrations like? Uh, it was really good. During the game, there was a lot of banter and rivalry both ways. Whitstable gave as good as they got, so it was a good. It was good for that. Um, obviously, the, the two goals in the first half was excellent. The third sort of just sealed it, and I think that's when they sat back a little bit, and I think they accepted their defeat. Uh, the clubhouse afterwards, team in there, all sort of going. This has been a good weekend. Uh, win away in the Vars, a three 0 against a local rival. Fans are happy. We're happy. And, and you can see it's starting to take shape now. It's, it's going to take time. And anyone that thinks every game's going to be 4-0 because of who we've got or what we've spent, you're, you're dreaming. That's not going to be the case. Talking of things taking shape, our women's team finally took shape and they took to the field for the start. And they've had two games and they've had a win. But I know you was there because I was there on that long bank holiday weekend when we made all three games. But what an achievement it is for our women's team to go. First of all, have their first game. And that first night, I have to say, I have to mention uh, the keeper was outstanding that night. I think it was only, a, I think it was 4 0, but it could have been worse. And then for the girls, the, for the women, sorry, to go away and get a win at Lid at the weekend, which is a far longer place to go. And they are now closer and closer to their first league game. I know you're going to be going to the point, but how much of an achievement is that for sort of about things coming together? When we saw the, the uh, friendly at Herne Bay, uh, they'd been together about 10 weeks. 
it's probably a handful of training sessions. Uh, they had some players come in late as well that needed a gel. Um, and like you said, the keeper really was, uh, the, he got the player of the match 100%. But that 4-0, four, that four you know, didn't show the effort they put in. Then to get a win the very next game away, and again, every other team's established. And whether they bring two players or ten players from the previous season, they've got experience. And they've kept that as their, you know, the, the core of the unit. So I think overall, to get a win that quick, I think you've got to say the women have done absolutely spectacular. Well, this is how the podcast is going to go on moving forward. We're going to try and do a monthly review. And Mick, first of all, I want to thank you for your time and your efforts. I know that you go to most of the, and everyone that you can. And so first of all, as a person who works for the club, I just want to thank you ourselves and also as well, up the Lily Whites. Up the Lily Whites. Get a Neil, welcome back to the Lily Whites podcast. As we got a 4-0 win here today against Erith and Belvedere, but we're going to obviously review the month that we've had here, which will start from uh, Holmesdale, which you didn't come to. No. But So we'll go from Kennington and we'll get all the way to today's game. So yeah. so let's review some of those games. Uh, what did you think of the Lily Whites form up until now? It's not been too bad at all, really. I mean, you know, the Kennington game, I think we could have been four or five up half time, went 2-0 up early the second half, took the foot off the gas, they got two late goals. And then again, the same thing, OK, I didn't go to the game, but the same, similar thing seemed to happen at Homesdale, conceding that late goal, which is a habit we seem to have got into over the last few years. But again, you know, since then, um, those two drop games, I mean, league games, you know, we've, we've won all three of them now, including today's. So, you know, we're not doing bad at all. I mean, I looked at today beforehand and thought someone like Aerith and Belvedere are coming down. This would be a benchmark. They had a similar league record to us. So I thought, let's look at it today. And uh, let's like say we've, we've really just <laughs> steamrolled them, to be honest, and took the foot off the gas towards the end, which was good. So that, um, you know, hopefully there's still some fresh legs for Tuesday at Lordswood, which is going to be tough. But on the whole, I think it's been pretty good. We've had some bloody good away days. Um, you you know, start with one of those, uh, yeah. was you, the Little Hampton. That was, that was a game and a half, wasn't it? That, the red card that turned it all around that day. Yeah, uh, and they were all moaning about it. And I think there, there, was, there was a player um, for them who's had a bit of history between uh, us and supporters and ex-Faversham players. Um, the guy who scored two goals for Little Hampton, he's a moany little git. And, um, I admit that, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> we, we, we had a bit of uh, fun at his expense as well. Um, but Little Hampton was a, was a really good away day. Horrible little club, can't stand them. <laughs> and uh, we, we did what um, what we needed to do on, on, on the day, 1-3-2, which was great. And then obviously we had Fisher in the cup, which yeah. was, uh, it came out there, it was an own goal in the end, but uh, Ben yeah, Gurham, it it's, it's, still, it's, still, it's still down to Ben Gurham, so as the players are being clapped off here. And then what a Monday, get to that game on Monday, that bank holiday game against the Whitstable, 3-0 yep. in their own back garden. Yep. Are those the type of days that you want? Yeah, I think when you look at the records over the last 10 years, we always do well over there and they always seem to do well over here. Now, if you have a look at those records, it, you know, we always do well over there. So um, it's not, it didn't come as any surprise to me. And I had a couple of pints with uh, some of my Whitstable supporting friends before the game. And then obviously met up with some of the lads uh, I normally do for Faversham games. But yeah, I thought we, 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 were, we were excellent over there. Um, again, you, you go into a local derby, you never know how it's going to turn out. It can go either way. But we seem to um, control it from start to finish. Whereas last year, again, we conceded two, two goals late on, could have lost it in the last minute over there last year. So, you know, as long as we, we need to just put those bad habits of those late goals, you know, to bed. But again, yeah, so far, so good. I, I can't really complain at all. And then exiting the FA Cup as we did on Tuesday night, which uh, I know that some fans and supporters weren't impressed with the style of football, but you can only play what's in front of you. And uh, to be honest, they probably pressed us quite high, and so we had to try yeah, and bypass yeah. that midfield. Yeah. But today's a different, different story together. Some of the football out there today, from minute one, and that great goal from Kieran Campbell, and the superb free kick, and the well-worked goal at the start of the second yeah, half. Brilliant. That is what you want as a Lily Whites fan, isn't it? Oh yeah, I mean, we, we, I think we've recovered well because, I mean, to be quite honest, last Saturday at Broadbridge, the game was dreadful. Neither side showed each other what they could do. Uh, it was an awful game. Lovely day out, mind, lovely club. Um, but then the replay, they really did a job on us. Um, I thought Broadbridge were excellent. Um, and now we put we again again first half you know we didn't turn up but second half i thought we really you know we battled well to try and get back in but again that third goal if we'd only got that 
first goal, yeah, we're two down, two down. We only got that first goal a bit you quicker. Get a sniff of it, you, you, you can get a sniff of it, but I, I, you know, when they go three 0 up with five to go, then you know, it, it's game over. And then we now move on to Tuesday night against uh, Lordswood side, who have been the fall in our side really uh, last season. Couldn't beat them for love nor money, could we? Yeah, and, I think Lewis and, the penalty down there, yeah, Lewis yeah. Briggsy did, and obviously he's injured right now. And props to the goalkeeper who came in today. He looked very confident for us. Yeah. Um, but how how do we look at? Lordswood because they look like they're going well on the Nicky Southall as well and they're sort of our bogey team isn't it? Um, only if you make it a bogey team <laughs> you know uh, Well everything's <laughs> a bogey team for me a wall no, Thank you very much <laughs> uh, Yeah say that like to Sheffield Wednesday um, Yeah I mean yeah I mean at this level um, with the squad we've got we shouldn't have bogey teams yes you have every team has a, every, club, every team has a bad day every person has a bad day but as long as those bad days don't become habits you, you'll be fine you know, we can't just say, oh no, Lordswood, oh no, we're scared of them. We shouldn't be scared of them. We shouldn't be scared of anybody in this league. And, you know, Lid did a job on us. Glebe did jobs on us last year. But you can't think that, oh, every time we play Lid, we're going to lose. Every time we play Lordswood, they're going to do a job on us. No, it's up to us not not to bother, not to, you know, worry about it, to be honest. You know, also, I don't think... Also, as well, in non-league, teams change so quickly and, and, yeah. and, and things like that. But... It's just one of those places at the minute that, you know, you probably have the hurt from last year, but things are looking bright for the Lily Whites, aren't they, really? Certainly are, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed, you know, and I think we've, we've, although we've still signed, you know, Ian Draycott today, you know, I see, it's good to see we're going for youth. Uh, <laughs> no, you know, sometimes I think you've got to have the cute players, the players that know what they're doing. Um, I think our younger players that have come on, um, people like Woody, um, I think he's coming to the side again. He looks a lot more, I don't know, dangerous this season than he looked last season. Um, he didn't do enough goals last year um, and he's been so creative in every every game he's played so mm -hmm. far. I think he's been fantastic. And again, um, player of the month. Yeah, I, I, I would have probably voted for Bradley Sims. It's a very, you know, I think Bradley's. Man of the match today. Yeah, I think he's a brilliant player. I think he's fantastic. Um, his attitude and he just doesn't stop running um, he's, he's great <laughs> as he gets bantered off gets bantered off yeah they, yeah, they, 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 they're just sort of like just, you know because they've got nothing to say that's what it is you know you've got the intelligent one on first so oh, you, well, you, you, you can speak to we'll give you the lot, we'll give you the last word but yeah. it's exciting times we're going to now do this bi-monthly because yeah. trying to get to do it every week is hard but it's an exciting time to be a Lily Whites fan and as always up the Lily Whites up the Lily Whites as he says, he's got to get the kids home. This will be a quick one, really. Uh, Wes, as always, <laughs> really like. <laughs> well, wow, you know, you've got to leave the house. <laughs> the oh, we do love it here. <laughs> <laughs> the Lily Wise podcast is just for that. Um, uh, where can we start? Month in review, really. I know that you haven't been around, but you've been able to listen to the radio and been listening to a few other things that we've been doing here at the Lily Whites. But month in review here for the Lily Whites. With, uh, we start off with the Homesdale game, it was a draw, and then Kennington was another draw. And, it's a bit of doom and gloom and then a great FA Cup game against uh, Little Hampton and, and then uh, it's been ups and downs but we're still looking good. Yeah, it feels very much of what it is really. We've got quite a few new players coming in, took a little while for us to bed and I don't know, it feels, I mean, it's probably the 4 0 win talking, but it feels like we're motoring a bit now. We've got a good win against Whitstable. We took a good team in uh, Broadbridge to um, two games. We've Little Hampton away, team above us again. So we, we're playing competitive games we play teams in our league we're, we're playing well so yeah it was a bit of a slow start I think we had Bexhill as well at the beginning of the moment didn't we and a bit of a slow start and maybe it's just players getting used to a new style of play new players and, and stuff like that but it's feeling like it's going in the right direction a bit now especially when we we like games like today where we play really good football move the ball around and use our use our good ball players like Nath and, and KC it really makes a difference yeah sometimes the Whites get stuck in that playing it back and not getting rhythm but sometimes that's the team that's playing us isn't it really you look at you look at the Broadbridge game how they nullified us and then you look at a game like today where the, there's all that space and I think those are sometimes the elements that play against us and you come away a little bit more frustrated and in days like today it looks like we're unstoppable so you know you've got to take it with the good and the bad but are the Lily Whites on their way up? It, it feels that way it just depends on the other teams doesn't it I mean we felt that last year no one saw Deal coming out of nowhere um, VCD, I think, got a win today, and obviously they're top. I know they played a few more games than us. They but beat the Whitstable, but again, yeah, everyone, beats the, everyone beats the Whitstable. Who doesn't beat Whitstable? Whitstable. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, to be honest, I think I saw a post the other day, right? And uh, you can go check this. Whitstable said our first home win. 
And I was like, we've played loads of games and you've not had a home win. Cool. Yeah. We got one on day one. Yeah, 4-0. <laughs> we love a 4-0. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty positive about it. Like, I think the, the obviously it's, it's been hard because we're doing well in the cuts. And, but even now, I think it's put in good stead playing teams and leagues above the competitive games. You said that game against Broadbridge. But the, the second half of that, again, we played like we did today. We've got the ball into feet, to, to Nafe, to KC. We're playing it down. Good balls around the corner from Sam to, to Bradley. God, that boy runs, didn't he, Bradley? <laughs> <laughs> and um, when that, we were really competitive that second half. And we took a, I think it was what, uh, what do they call it? The um, the ball over the top, the percentage ball. So when we oh. just, when we move away from that and we use, because we got strikes that are good with the ball at feet. Tashi's so good and strong for a. For a, a sponsored by the halfway liners. Yeah, sponsored by the halfway liners, the halfway liners, Tashi. Hey. Goal, goal today. So yeah, I, I think if we keep playing football like that against the teams, Lords was going to be an interesting one. I, I think they were. I, I think they were, I think they were one all today at Punjab. So that'll be an interesting one because we, we we didn't do too well against them last year. So it'll be a good stake in the ground for us to see how we do against them today. Well, that's everything. That's everything for this podcast. And now we go bi monthly now. So as we end it, up the Lily Whites. Up the Lily Whites. Bradders, man of the match today here, four 0 against Irith and Belvedere. Hand in that cup with a little engravement on it as well. Special yeah, touches lovely, for lovely you. Touch, you it? loved that, innit? And. Uh, how are you feeling? Yeah, unbelievable. Um, I think uh, we did it the first time against Glebe, first game of the season, but I think that's been coming. I think we've revoted another team, a good little 4-0. Um, clean sheet's always unbelievable. Um, boys on the on the goal sheet, so that's good as well. Some of that football out there today was mesmerising, keeping the ball on the deck and, and the way you get forward as well. And I know every single fan, because obviously I do a lot with the fans, but they all they all praise you and, and Taff quite highly since yeah. you've come in as well. I know you guys come as a pair, but talk about like what it's like out there and how Tommy gives you the licence to get forward. Yeah, I've played under Tommy for a really long time now. Um, he's drilled into me and T that we have full licence to go forward as long as we get back. So <laughs> we've drilled it into us as much as I get forward. I don't know for a fact I've got to get back. And when we do get forward, try and make something happen every single time and that's what we do. I'll tell you what, you clock up the miles as well because you take those long throws on the opposite right, yeah, side as well. And today it's worked out because yep. you took a long throw. Oh, look at Callan Davis coming across. Callan the end of my throws. Oh, super. <laughs> His match again today. <laughs> All right, Plaquetta. Uh, but no, you go, you clock up the miles as well. Today it came off. I know a lot of the times it comes off as well and you get a lot of chaos in a box. But how important is it as well to, to get games like this where you're getting those goals and you're getting it from the long throws as well? Yeah, no, 100% it's consistency. And um, the more we do it, the more it's going to work out. And as long as we keep working on the long throws, we do it in training. We work on everything in training. Everything you see out on the pitch, we do it in training. Got a beer um, for him as well. Oh, Tariq's bringing me a beer. Love oh, that. Look at that. Yeah, no, just as hard as we work in training, as long as we put it out into the pitch, then we're always going to get something, make something look happen. That is beer and say, a, say hello, a beer hola, 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 hola. <laughs> my, <laughs> twin, no, my twin, my no, twin. No, no, it's my no, 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 so we'll play from the great right back here. See you later, Mark, as he waves goodbye as well. But listen, it's these are the days you want, winning 4-0, but on to Lordswood as well. In last season, Lordswood wasn't a good game for us. I know it's a different team, different mentality, but... <laughs> As the boys are away, hey, Woody, you need to stay. Woody, you need to stay. Woody, you need to stay. Oh, hold on. Let's just finish this. Let's just finish this as the pod comes up as man of the uh, player of the month. Nathan Wood walks in. Bigger acolytes. Bigger acolytes. But he's only getting a boost, not a cup. Uh, <laughs> as he's got one in his hand. But no, all, all seriousness. You know, how important is it just to keep it now? The league. We've got to keep that momentum in the league. Yeah, 100%. You said it. That's the word, momentum. Um, I think on our day, I don't think there's any team in the league that can deal with us. Um, so as if momentum keeps up, we keep winning our games, keep knocking them off, ticking them off, then hopefully it'll be a real good end to the season. And as we say on every podcast, up the Lily Whites. Up the Lily Whites. Woody, I think the last time I did a pod, you was on it and you was the man of the match. We are now 30 days on and you're player of the month. What a month it's been for you. Your season has had an upward, upwards directory since it started. How are you feeling? No, I, I'm buzzing, obviously. I thank everyone, obviously, for voting me for Player of the Month. But I think as a squad, we've been good. But I still feel like we can get better. We've got results. Obviously, we're out of the FA Cup now. But I feel like now we can focus on the league, the Vars. Like, I feel we've still got another level to go. We could have got a lot more goals today. But we still won 4-0, kept a clean sheet. And then now we just go on to Tuesday. 
And that's the most important thing. I know I was speaking to you when you were doing the warm-up and that about how frustrated you was about going out of the FA Cup. And uh, even though your form is brilliant, you want it for the team. And that's the mentality that we want here at this club. And I think that's what the fans see in you as well. Every time you're out there, your body and players that are two, three, four times the size of you, you're winning the ball back. Is that the type of player that you are as well? You want to get your players to have the energy that you have? I feel like we all got it. I feel like in the dressing room, we've got a good bunch of lads. Um, everyone wants to win. I think I've always just got a good desire, always want to win, I don't like losing and I feel like that reflected with all the boys in the dressing room, I think it's just, just we just need to kick on and keep going and keep this good form up. I think when you got here, when, um, when, sorry, when Tommy got here as well, you were playing a right wing back and even though you was uncomfortable, you played that to a tee and now Tommy's given you licence to go forward, how, how much confidence have you got in a manager that can play you one position but then you know, he repays you by putting you in the team? Yeah, no. Tommy's been brilliant with me coming. The gaffer's been really good. I thank him, obviously. Lets me have my licence, but obviously out of possession, I know my roles and responsibilities for the team as well. So, yeah, we just need to keep this form and go in and hopefully bring it into Tuesday in the next couple of games because there's loads of games coming up and we need to, everyone. Yeah, Lords on Tuesday, you were here with those games, uh, Lordswood, last year. We didn't get a single win. I mean, we got a point and then we got knocked out of cups and uh, we lost in the league to them. Um, how important is it for you to, as a player, do you want to go and get revenge? Do you want to tell the players in there what it's all about wearing that with Lily White shirt? I think, like, they're a good side. They've strengthened this year as well. They've started well. Um, but we just got to focus on ourselves. Like, if we, if we turn up, I'm sure, like, everything will come together and we've got a good enough score to to beat them that's the mentality we've got to have well that's it for us well done on the player of the month and up the Lily Whites cheers Brownie top man mate 4-0 against Ira from Belvedere what do you think um, yeah very good day um, four good goals uh, to be fair the keeper's done really well for them as well but um, I thought we dominated the game and really it should have been um, it should have been a, like, a few more but you know, four 0 we'll take that and we'll move on to the next game. Some of the football at times out there, you must have been really pleased with the patterns of play. And after the midweek where they nullified and and you had to go through a little bit more of a process, but in the second half it was fantastic. Are you happy with the boys getting that end product, especially Kieran Campbell in the first minute setting it off? Yeah, we um, listen. There's there's bits of like, like I said, I thought today I said to the boys we give the ball away cheaply a little bit too much today, but. That's me just picking holes in like what is a, I mean this, they, I believe they got a good result choosing, I didn't know, they're one of the teams that won two, I think they won two, one, I can't remember. Uh, but they, I but think they, they drew one, one, one Punjab. But it's what I mean, so Punjab, they, you know, so this is what I'm saying about this league, you can't take anything for granted. If, one, if someone said to me they are going to win 4-0, they took it all day long. Um, but we've come today and I thought we've, you know, we've settled, like, settled, uh, settled ourselves down a little bit, played some good football, got some good goals early in the first half, early in the second half. Um, and at the end, like I said, the only, the only if I wanted to be nitty gritty, the only thing I wanted was I thought we should have had a few more goals, and I thought we could have retained the ball a little bit better. But that's me picking at the boys. They've given everything tonight, and um, sorry today, and they've got a three points, which has shot us, you know, shot us back up in the top five. No, Russell to the, uh, Jacob Russell, obviously unavailable, and uh, brings you out. How did you think Archie? Because I know he's only here for a day, and it's an emergency loan. But what, what, a, what? Some, some great saves from him. I know he had a bit of a shaky moment, but how is it? How good is it? And confident we can just put another goalkeeper out there, and the back four just keep doing what they do. I, listen, listen. I mean, to be honest, I don't think Archie made a save today. I don't think he made a save. So, um, but what he did have to do, he done. He come and claim crosses. Um, his distribution was good. But I just felt the second half is what I'm saying about. I thought, I thought we got a little bit lethargic in the second half and started playing in the wrong areas a little bit too deeply and, and that's when we kept losing possession. But again, you know, I tell the boys that, but overall we've got a clean sheet and a big win here today. But Archie's just walked in the building. He's off to QPR on Monday for a trial. So I hope it all goes well for him there. But he's, um, he's come in and done very well for himself. Oh, we wish him the best and I know that they'll be looking at that footage thing. Uh, he did do some good things today. Um, Moving on, you know, Lordswood on Tuesday, a team that last year we just couldn't get anything out of. I know that it's, it, you know, non-league football, it changes, but sometimes the mentality is that, you know, teams are like that. And Nicky, Nicky Southall's done a good job down there. They're in the, you know, they're in the, the latter stages of the qualifying. How are you looking to approach that? I think I say the same thing every week. I'm approaching it as the same as every other game. Listen, I'm fully aware Lords have had a fantastic start to the season. They've gone furthest they've ever done in the FA Cup. Um, and you know they come here and won last year, and I, I think it was a four-three in the end. It was four-nil down. So uh, we know what we're going to get. Like I said, whether it's Lordswood or whoever, there's not such thing as an easy game at this level. So um, 
the main thing for me, there's no real injuries. We had a few tight legs, so he was lucky enough to make the substitutions. So we'll go there and treat it no different, but I'm fully aware we're going to be in for another tough game. New sign today, Andre Cock coming in and also Stefan Payne returning. Uh, you had Kemp coming on at left back and he was really good when he came and looked brave. And is, Were you happy with the, the squad, the players coming back there? Because the players who are unavailable, they're unavailable for, for personal reasons, not injuries. So are you happy with the squad being as big as it is out there? Yeah, it's, listen, compared to some of the squads that are around, it's not a massive squad. Drake's become available. I mean, we're speaking to lots of, lots of clubs and we obviously, he knows a few of the lads here as well, like they all do in Kent. Um, and we know he'll be a good addition. It's good to get Payne back. We've got obviously we've got to get him fitter. Where he's been injured for a little while, um, and the young boy's been doing well for the for uh, for Reese. So um, I'm like, I'd rather give the, them a go than get someone in on loan for a little bit. And I think it sends a message out to the 23s as well that there is that platform for him to jump into. And like I say, he went on and done very well for himself. But getting three boys back on um, on Tuesday is only going to strengthen. And now I've got the horrible decision. Now we're probably leaving someone out of the squad. Let's rewind a little bit to last night where the 18s got a win and they had 150 people watching, which is massive for the club. I know they didn't they didn't think that was happening, so they were a bit understaffed and underwhelmed. But how important is it as well, teams like the 18s and the women who are starting tomorrow as well, how important is it for them to get off to those good wins and keep that the reputation of the club high? Yeah, I think, listen, I would never put pressure on the kids or whatever. For me, Callum, if he does really well, it's not so much about him winning loads of games, it's about him getting a young kid that goes into the Reese's. And I said the same thing to Reese. his job is, isn't to win the reserve team league, it's to get them players to come in and, and get in the first team. Um, perhaps that's what people don't see from the outside in, it's not so much about the results, it's about developing players um, and progressing them as quick as we can. If anyone's good, no matter how old he is, he should be playing at, you know, we should be pushing him on to the next level. So. Uh, both them boys have got good, you know, they know their jobs, but I wouldn't be too upset if they lost games or whatever. The FA Youth Cup, obviously, I want to do really well in because there's a bit of stigma to it. But for me, it's about developing the players and pushing them on into outside their comfort zones into the next level. And with Reese's, like I said, the boys come on today and it's done very well. So uh, and it's not the first time we've used them. And so that's the message to the, the 18s and the 23s. Well, we move on to Tuesday night. Fantastic win here. Drink it up, enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. And thank you for your time, Gaffer. Cheers, Brownie.